Good morning, class. Hope you guys all had a great um, weekend and a good start to your semester. This week, um, you should begin working on Module 2. Um, I've already reviewed all of your thoughtful questions. Lots of great questions out there. Um, I did respond to some of you individually when there were questions that were more factual and I could just um, go ahead and answer for you. And so just a suggestion moving forward with those thoughtful questions. Make sure that the questions you're asking can't just be answered straight out of the book or do not just require a yes-no answer. We're, I'm really looking for... Uh, questions that require some discussion and um, also require some critical thinking about the content. And the best way to do that is as you are actually reading the text or going through the lecture, really think critically about the material and, um, you know, constantly kind of question like, well, I wonder about how this applies in this situation or what could be done um, or what are the best strategies for this situation? Um, so think critically about it. I'm um, not really looking to just have questions like, um, is, it, is autism a spectrum disorder? Yes, actually it is. What's the difference between autism and um, autism spectrum disorder? What is the difference between autistic disorder and autism spectrum disorder? Well, that's in the textbook. Um, autistic disorder has now been assumed under the spectrum. So questions like that don't really lead to as much discussion. So there's my tip for that. Um, the discussion format. So last week you posted your five thoughtful questions. This morning I reviewed those thoughtful questions. I pulled out a few that I feel like lead to really good discussions. So those are my instructor selected thoughtful questions. I posted them this morning and now you can respond to my questions and respond to your peers. You don't have to respond to peers on the thoughtful questions that were posted last week. I saw some of you began to start discussing, which is totally fine. You have every right to discuss if you want to, but you get credit and grading based on what you respond to on my posted instructor selected thoughtful questions. Um, another thing that I wanted to mention is I know that in the um, PDF PowerPoint that I shared in module one, the videos are not accessible. Um, I don't have the link to those videos. I'm gonna look for those and see if I can find them. And if I can, I will post them in an announcement. <coughs> but um, I just wanted to let you know that the content of the videos was not critical for being able to actually complete your assignment. So you should have been able to complete it without those two videos. Um, if you are looking for feedback on an assignment, I'm happy to review what you have done and give you feedback, but you have to send it to me early on in the week. So go ahead and look over the assignment and start working on it early so that if you have questions or need feedback, you can elicit that from me early on. My response time on the weekends isn't quite as fast, but I'm usually I'm really fast about responding during the weekdays. Um, I'm not sure if you noticed, but we do have an instructional assistant or coach in our class, Dr. Sadik. She is amazing and she's worked with me for several semesters. Um, so she does support our class in responding to questions about assignments. She helps with the grading and providing feedback on assignments. Um, she reviews discussions, so we work really hand-in-hand -hand on um, everything in the class, so feel free to reach out to her. If you have questions about an assignment, you can reach out to either of us. Um, we'll both be grading and giving you feedback on your assignments. Make sure to check and see who wrote the comments so you can direct questions to that person. Um, it does note that on your assignment. And otherwise, um, I'm always available. My goal is for you to be successful in this class and to really get a full um, and good foundation on autism spectrum disorders. So if there's anything you need for this week, let me know. And otherwise, you have assignment to do and you also have your response to instructor selected thoughtful questions due. So have a great week.